Hey everybody, um, this is uh, some questions on naming um, coordination compounds. This is questions 6 through 10 in the Ultimate Chemical Equations Handbook um, in problem set 5-2. So let's get started. Um, you'll see I've also included here kind of a list of ligands and their formulas um, to help out. It's not the same as the one in the Ultimate Chemical Equations Handbook, um, but this one is uh just one that i found and so it'll be easy. yours yours is a little different same information life is good okay but let's take a look at question number six okay so this is trans dichloro bis ethylene diamine cobalt three chloride so i'm going to split those um that name into two halves okay now when we're going from name to formula it's a little easier because we can see the halves with the space like the space is right there so it so it kind of helps us to indicate where the two ions are and so the two ions here is going to be this big long thing and then chloride so we're going to name this one this is the negative side we're not going to name it we're going to come up with a formula for that and everybody should know what chloride is okay chloride is just cl with a minus charge Okay, like in sodium chloride or magnesium chloride or, you know, whatever, you know, all those kind of, um, kind of uh, binary ionic compounds that you probably studied way back in intro chem. Um, the challenge is going to be naming this, or to, not naming it, but coming up with the formula. So, this is written forward, so I'm going to write it kind of um backwards okay now the tricky thing is this trans here that trans indicates the the stereochemistry at that point um so the trans um i'm going to put that at the very beginning of my formula okay i'm just going to carry that through the formula okay and so now I'm going to start here, but I'm going to number, I'm going to go backwards with it. So I'm going to put my, oh, I'm going to put my square bracket in and then backwards. So cold, I don't know why that thing is doing that. It's pain, but <laughs> there it goes again. Okay. So cobalt three, so that's CO, and now I'm going to do bisethylene diamine now bisethylene diamine ethylene diamine en2 cuz this is bis is that funny um that funny uh number uh what's the word number prefix word that indicates that there's two and then um it's like die okay and now we put, so now we're going to put chloro, Cl2. Now we probably, I probably should just not put parentheses in there, okay? Because we only usually need parentheses when there is an element. And Chloe just joined us. Chloe, say hi to everybody. Hi. Are you learning how to name coordination compounds? Exactly. That's why people are watching this video, because they're like, what's that? Okay. <laughs> well, thanks, Chloe. Do you need something? No. Okay. So, now what we're going to do from here, that's the positive side of this, and now we're going to name the negative side, or come up with the formula for the negative side, and that's just chloride. And now we need to make sure the charges work out. So I'm going to break out my green pen. Okay. Chlorine, chloro is one minus, okay, and there's two of them, so the total there is two minus. Ethylene diamine is neutral, and cobalt is three plus, okay, so three plus, two minus, and this chlorine is one minus, okay, and so that means that it's all even. So now this is the formula for that guy. We don't even need to clean it up. I already kind of wrote it cleaned up. Okay, so let's do number seven. Hexaamine ruthenium three tetrachloronicolate three. Okay, 
super weird, but we're going to split it in half. Um, we're going to, we're going to write it. We're either going to, um, write it backwards or start backwards and name it and write it and then write it forward. Um, since I started doing reading it backwards and writing it forward, let's do it that way. Okay. So ruthenium three. So that's R U. And now this is got to be in square brackets. Okay. Ruthenium three and then hexa amine NH three and hexa means six. Okay. Now what's the charge on this? The charge on this side is going to be three plus. Why is it going to be three plus? Because the only thing that has a charge is the ruthenium. The amine has a zero charge. Okay. So now we're going to do the tetrachloronicolate two. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to do this and then we're going to go nickel. And then we're going to do tetrachloro. I don't know why that's giving me a hard time, but that's okay. Chloro. And then we're going to do tetrachloro. Let me erase this here because I just want to make sure that. Okay, so this is going to be nickel and I, and then, okay, so <laughs> that's weird. Okay, so maybe it's just a dead spot in my computer here. Nickel, okay, well. You get the idea. So now we're going to put that in brackets. And so what's the charge on this side? Nicolate 2. So nicolate, I'll break out my green pen here. Okay. So nicolate is 2 plus. Tetrachloro is, let's see, it's 1 minus, but there's 4 of them. So this is 4 minus. So this thing has a charge of 2 minus. Well, how can I get 3 plus and 2 minus to even out. That means in this case I need three of these guys and then I need two of those. So that's kind of a pain in the neck, but that kind of happens that way. So this is three and this is going to be a two. Okay. Okay. So eight. Okay. So again, two halves. Um, I'm going to start with the, the positive ion. I'm going to, I'm going to read it backwards and I'm going to write it forward. So copper to see you, see you later, copper. Okay, that's how I always remember that. And then tetraamine, so that's NH3, and then tetra4. Okay. Okay, and then what's the charge on this side? The charge on this side is going to be that whole thing is 2 plus. Copper is 2 plus, amine doesn't have a charge. Okay. So now pentacyanohydroxoferrate 3. Again, we're going to do it, we're going to write it backwards. I'm sorry, we're going to read it backwards. Ferrate 3. Hydroxo. How many hydroxos? It doesn't say. So if it doesn't say, it's just 1. And then pentacyano, CN5. Pentacyano. Good. Okay. Now we need to figure out charges on this, on this ion. Okay. Well, ferrite is three plus, this is one minus, and there's one of them. And then cyano is one minus. So then there's five of them. So that's a six minus and a three plus. So that's going to be a three minus for that one. Well, how are we going to get a two plus and a th three plus three minus, sorry, <laughs> three, two plus and three minus to work itself out. That means now we need two of these guys, so that's six minus, and then three of these guys, that's six plus, so that it now all balances out. So this is going to be a three, that's going to be a two. And so you can see that like when I'm getting in the groove of these things, like it becomes a little bit more... Uh, like it's just a little bit easier to go through them. Okay. Like, uh, so practice makes perfect. Okay. So sodium tetracyanocadmate. Cadmate comes from cadmium and cadmium is one of the three transition metals that has a charge that is always set. Okay. So silver, when it forms a charge or an ion, 
its ion is plus one. Zinc always forms a plus two ion when it forms an ion, and cadmium always forms a plus two ion. So there's three of them that always have a set charge when they form char when they form ions. Silver, zinc, and cadmium. Okay. So let's look at this. So sodium, that one's pretty straightforward. Na. Okay. Tetracyanocadmate. Okay, so I'm going to put brackets here, and I'm going to read it backwards and write it forward. So cadmate, C, D, okay, and tetracyano, so cy cyano is C, N, and then that's 4, N bracket. Now what's the charge on this side? Uh, well, cadmium is 2 plus tetracyano, that's going to be 4 minus, so that side is equal to 2 minus. And sodium is always a 1 plus. So we need two sodiums so that we cancel out and so that the charges end up being the same on the cation as on the anion. Okay, now the last one. Diamine zinc iodide. Okay, so I'm going to split it in half. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it backwards, but write it forward. So zinc and I put a square bracket because it's a metal um, it's a metal coordination ion okay and then diamine NH3 2 okay so zinc again another one of those elements that always forms a plus 2 okay three transition metals I just said it about this guy up here okay silver uh, zinc cadmium Okay, so that charge now is 2 plus, okay, oh, and then iodide, that's just I, okay, no metal, no anything, so that's I, and that's a 1 minus, so this side is 2 plus, this is 1 minus, so we need two of these things, so that's I2. Okay, so that's 6 through 10, um, problem set 5-2 in the Ultimate Chemical Equations Handbook. Um, have fun, and enjoy your day.